Mm -hmm. Kidnapping in the first degree? Yes. Uh, infliction of extreme mental distress. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, on myself uh, or a third person and or interference with the performance of any governmental function. <laughs> now, um, for those of you in the office, mm -hmm. what is the performance of what is known as the governmental function of elections? <laughs> Something we really haven't talked about, but let's say, yes, you're elected to office as the sheriff. Yes, the Superior Court judge. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking Brent is Republican. Uh, auditor, assessor, mm -hmm. treasurer. And then um, you're holding my son's hostage. Yes, because of the fraud of this county refusing to acknowledge. Yes that you do have to have actual notice and opportunity to be heard. Yes. That you cannot use any forgeries when issuing court orders. Yes. And that um, the the thought, yes, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that uh, the respondent is uh, restrained from interfering, yes, with the petitioner's physical or legal custody of the minors named in the table above. Yes, number one, number right there. Yes. Now, you restrained me from interfering with the physical or legal custody of my sons in 2011. Mm -hmm. July 8th, 2011. And as I understand the RCW is necessary to take custody of a citizen's children from them, mm -hmm. it obligates notice and opportunity to be heard. Yes. Since I was not a resident of the state of Washington in 2011, mm -hmm. when you gave custody of my sons to my wife with, without me receiving notice and opportunity to be heard, mm, you affected what is known as a kidnapping. Poo. Poo -poo. See, when you remove custody of a parent's children from them mm -hmm, because of the issuance of a court order, yes, where the actual parent was not a resident of the state of Washington. Yes. You did not give any notice or opportunity to be heard. Brent. It is the definition of kidnapping to take custody of somebody from their legal guardian. Yes. Now, you issued this, uh, Judge Ken Williams. Yes. On August 12th of 2011. <laughs> without me receiving any notice or opportunity to be heard. Yes. You reissued this on May 31st of 2012. Right. While I was on trial, mm -hmm. after you had arrested me. Yes. Where I was found not guilty. Right. And my record was expunged. Poo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you reissued it and modified it. Yes. Uh, William G. Kniebs. Right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this, Pastor Greg Miller. Yes was used, Brent Baisden, yes, so as to give the impression to Judge Rohrer, yes, it was, that I was a very bad father, very bad. Mm -hmm. Now, when this says, yes, that I am not to interfere mm -hmm, with the uh, petitioner's physical or legal custody of the minors named in the above table, yes, um, persons entitled time under court or may object to proposed relocation, so on and so forth, yes. The problem is the minors named in the above table, yes, they should be in my custody. Now, um, respondent is restrained from removing from the state the minors named in the table, yes. Uh, as the respondent here, yeah, and here, yeah. Um, this legal custody mm -hmm. of my sons was taken from me, yes, without any protections of law. Sheriff, I will sue each and every state of the United States for treason <clears throat> for their support of your levying of war against the United States. Now, this kidnapping mm -hmm, has interfered with the performance of the United States government's elections. Yes, because the elections are being obstructed. You cannot mark on this, yes, mm -hmm. uh, 
physical or legal custody of the minors named in the table above yeah. without any protections of law. Now, for the Mormons, yes, that have been misprisoning, yes, the felony and treason of Brent Baston, yes, who took it upon himself to issue court orders that have fraudulent statements, yes, where I was not served, yes, where someone other than myself was served, yes, where I was served in the Squim Public Library. <laughs> this kidnapping is resulting, yes, in the interfering of the elections of the United States of America.